And when this thing is running at full speed, it's going to be getting me 40 to 50,000 XP per hour, which when combined with the Guardian farm that gets me 180,000 per hour, it's going to be like well over 200,000. That's faster than any XP farm that I know of. No, there is another. An XP farm of legendary proportions. An XP farm more than 25 times faster than the one SB was describing. A farm so powerful that you need to go back in time to run it. Yes, I'm talking about the Quad Dragon XP farm created by Razeworks. It's a farm that abuses multiple old game mechanics slash bugs. In modern versions of Minecraft, most, if not all the mechanics were changed or straight up patched. The only working version of this farm that I can get a world download to is 1.10.2, which was made more than 6 years ago. Downgrading a Minecraft world always has consequences, it is highly discouraged by Mojang, it isn't supported and never will be, though to make this farm I have to change my 1.19 world to 1.10.2. Welcome to Jump, well now it's called Dragon. This is the world where I try to do crazy things in vanilla Minecraft. To check out the background on the world I will be spending my time in, why don't you check out my jump video, which will be in the description. In my experience, when you downgrade a 1.19 world past 1.13, some items in your inventory just get straight up deleted. Shulker boxes of all kinds get deleted, so I am limited to 64 inventory slots if I count my offhand. So what items do I need? Under Raiseworks video, you can find a world download to the farm, and using Linematica, which is an older schematica, I can enclose the farm in a green box and materials list. I put all of the items into a spreadsheet to make it easier to visualize. Add up all of the stacks and 54 inventory slots are needed to build the farm, but I can take this one step further and combine many items such as turning redstone into redstone blocks. I can swap out the main blocks of the farm and stone to wood logs, and then I can later decraft them to get the full 20 stacks and only fill up 5 inventory slots. Okay, and the total is 25 inventory slots. Wow, that leaves plenty of space for other things I might want, such as food, firework rockets, bows, arrows, and armor. Now, to load up my world and collect all of these items. Using fire, I sent myself back to my spawn point. But first, I destroyed all of the end crystals. Now, a collecting items montage. These are all of the items for a slime farm. Now I have to tame 4 cats and 4 dogs. When I was around 80% of the way done with the farm, I realized that it was designed for version 1.17. The cats and the dogs were useless, and the only thing I needed was a ring of mushrooms around the center.
farm works perfectly. After a couple of hours of AFKing, I was able to get plenty of slime blocks. I finished off the rest of the materials by taking all of the items from a few chests that I had lying around. Next, I wanted to move on to getting armor. Whenever I downgraded my world, all the enchantments on my armor pieces would get deleted, but I could fix this by taking unenchanted armor, enchanted books, and an anvil. And that is every single item packed away in either my inventory or my ender chest. Now to do some downgrade testing. It turns out that many items such as logs, powered rails, and slime blocks get deleted when going back in time, so I improvised and will be taking multiple stacks of slime balls along with gold to craft the items after I downgrade. Also, when I change my world to 1.10.2, I will always spawn in the overworld, so I picked a strategic location that is close to the stronghold and has an easy way to get 4 stacks of wood. This is my updated inventory and I am free to downgrade my world. I traveled out to the correct location and then loaded the world in 1.10.2. It worked perfectly and I have all of my items in my inventory and ender chest. Now I can enchant my armor pieces. But now, free to put protection, protection five? What the? I put prop four on all of my armor and decided to keep the protection five as a souvenir. To finish off all of the items I need for the farm, I just need to collect 5 stacks of wood. There we go. Now I can travel to the end portal and fill it in. I have to now kill the ender dragon to open up an end gateway. The gateway opened up right where I wanted it to. I transported all of my items into the end, and I can load the Lematica file for the Dragon Mover to start building the farm. Wow, look at that, pretty cool. For the next part of this farm, I need to build a flying machine so I can load the end island chunks. Okay, and go. What the? Yeah, this took me a whole hour and 40 minutes to figure out. After traveling to the end island, I need to reverse the machine to travel back again so I can load the end gateway at these specific courts. Okay, it worked perfectly and I can build the dragon killing part of the farm.
After finishing the farm, I needed to build out to the Dragon Island. There, I can use a unique glitch to resummon the Ender Dragon. If you remove the end portal blocks and re-log, then the game will summon a new one. Okay, it worked, and I have to fly back to the killing part of the farm. Oh, that didn't work. And it's because I built the farm off by two blocks. Okay, I shifted all of the pistons two blocks upward and that should fix the farm. And that didn't work. I went back to the main end island and the dragon hadn't been moved into the end gateway. Looking at replay mod, I noticed that the dragon didn't actually spawn in. At first, I thought it was due to coordinate location, but I later figured out that the dragon doesn't spawn until a minute has passed. My problems didn't stop there though, and it took a full six hours before I figured out the root problem. It turns out that I built the farm in the entirely wrong location. I built it in the positive quadrants, but it was supposed to be in the negative. So what does that mean? Well, it means loading a backup and rebuilding the whole farm again. But aren't backups cheating? Well, yeah, but sadly I don't have the leniency to halfway finish a project. YouTube won't like that. I only back up my world before very important moments. That being said, I do have a ton of backups. Okay, now to rebuild the whole farm. First, I need to kill the dragon multiple times to spawn the end gateway in the right location. There is the other side of the end gateway spawned in at these specific coordinates. And that is the last block of the farm. Once again, I can remove the end portal and summon the dragon. And it worked. I cannot put into words how happy this made me. I entered the minecart to start the farm, but I noticed that the dragon wasn't taking damage ticks from the TNT. I wanted to get a closer look using replay mod, so I disconnected to start it, though when I came back, the dragon was gone. I loaded a backup and went closer to the dragon to see what was happening to the TNT. Once I got closer, however, the dragon started taking damage, which led me to believe that the TNT wasn't being loaded in because of my render distance. Looking at the Minecraft wiki, you can see that the calculations for a render distance on a server is different from a single player world. The creator of the farm made the machine on a server. Hello there, Ray here, and we are back here on the project server. I probably just had to increase my render distance to fix the TNT duper. And it worked! Though, whenever I would deload the dragon or disconnect, it would disappear. Fast forward 4 hours and I found the problem. It turns out that I built the entire part of the dragon killer one block off. 
What? Why does negative zero exist? I didn't create a backup after I built the dragon mover, so for the third time I have to build the entire farm again. I put a lot of effort into my videos, so why don't you subscribe? I won't spam you with notifications as I will probably only post once a month. It's a great way for you to support me and it only takes a few seconds. Okay, back to the video. That's the last block for the dragon mover. And that's the last block for the dragon killer. <sighs> this better work. I broke the end portal and then summoned the dragon. After the dragon went through, I followed her with an ender pearl. Then I started the machine. And it worked. Finally, after probably more than 30 hours of troubleshooting, I can enjoy the fruits of my labor. It took 20 minutes for the dragon to enter its death animation, at which point I started getting XP. Then I can unload the farm and summon in a new dragon. I repeated that process until I had 4 dragons in the farm, and I finished 30 minutes before I went on a week long trip. The timing couldn't have been better. I came back 7 days later and was so happy to see 14,000 levels. And that's basically it. A few days later, I reached the max XP limit, and I believe I am the second person to legitimately get this achievement in Java Minecraft, which is crazy. I also reached day 1865 in the process. That's it. See ya.